Okay, so what I did over here, uh, over on the main page here, is like a, a general picture of you guys were sent out to sort of do some ship salvage kind of things, and I managed to find kind of what I was thinking of at any rate. It's remarkably hard to find, like, you do image searches for damaged ships. It's remarkably hard to find those where they aren't, like, on a planet. You know what I mean? Like, you look for wrecked spaceships or something, like, they're all crashed. I'm like, I want, I love the one on the right with the, with the, with the, bits and pieces like floating alongside like continuing you know the same basic trajectory and stuff absent uh you know various things it's 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 a lot of fun um i i just found a bunch i just put wrecked spaceship in space and oh in space might have been good <laughs> maybe I like, like a quarter of them are from eve online but that's okay but yeah there's there's a ton of stuff here all right, well, I would have, I would have tried to look spaceship. One of these, so one of these is already uh, uh, from Eve Online, so um, we'll go with that for now. But I will keep that in mind because I might need more images. <laughs> um, so when we last Why left our, need more derelict ships. <laughs> just asking for a friend. You know, you know, just just for reasons. Um, yeah, I didn't. I my my Google foo was failing me. All right, so when we last left our crew, there had been a great race to this salvage mission, uh, recovering some stuff at the behest of the wreckers. A uh, couple ships, uh, you know, get what you can off of it. If nothing else, we need a few. If you can get the whole ship, awesome. If not, there's just some things that we kind of want off of it. Uh, and... Uh, Drifter can had I, done. Drifter had done a fine job. Can I make job a general of, announcement be, before we start? Sure. What's that? Just, just. I am not rolling any dice today. Just, just so you know, you know, just putting it out there. But. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it added some fun to it. Um. So. I'm not speaking for monster, but I'm staring at him very hard. <laughs> You guys just had you guys just had a few bad a few bad rolls, uh, in in succession. Uh, Are no bad rolls, only opportunity. I don't know. Sorry, opportunity. I don't know, Margie, if you remember from the um, uh, D and D game, but there was a particular D twenty pink one from one of the players that was considered a particularly bad roller. And only ever came out of the player's bag in one circumstance that I can remember willingly, where somebody had mind controlled the player in question. <laughs> and she was convinced, like she really didn't want to hurt anybody. I managed to keep her under control for like seven rounds, but she, and she kept attacking, but she was rolling the bad dice and not only missed, but managed to like crit fail three out of the seven rounds or something like that from these really really More bad, bad dice. dice yeah and the girls in the masks game have actually uh for for three or four sessions in a row here had they've identified a pair of d6s that kaylee has as being particularly bad um just they could not get a decent roll out of them and they became the take a powerful blow. Dice. They, they became about, yeah, yeah like they became it. to take I, a powerful blow dice. Um, get it, get it, get it, give me your Iconic. dice. You, you would see that. I that, got, that I, would definitely be happening. I gotta take, I got I gotta take a powerful, give me, give, give me, your, give me your dice. Um, and they had, and give, give me the dice that, that the GM has touched. I really need to find that voice <laughs> chat from the voice quote from when one of them was like, no, I want to, I got to soak this all up. I want I want to be nothing but broken pieces that everybody else can cut themselves on, you know, kind of a thing. It's I want to be just like Adam. It was really good, um, <laughs> which is an interesting take on Adam because I always feel like he's such a gentle soul and not not that kind of, you know. Anyway, so the Nova usually embraces the take a powerful blow, but happened to be in a situation where losing her losing her cool would be very bad because her water power based boyfriend was right next to her and already having a very bad time of it 
and she really didn't want to lose control of her fire powers right next to him. And she had to take a powerful blow from watching him have all this horrible stuff happen to him. And she's, give me, give me your, give, give me, give me your dice. Give me a, so he's, and I'm just, whatever, you know, enjoy whatever little superstitions you have. They roll the, and she gets box cars on her take a powerful blow and already had three conditions. So she ended up with like a 15 or something like that. And that was her announcement as well. It's like, I'm not, I'm not rolling any more dice. I'm just not, I'm not rolling anymore today. We were 10 minutes into the game. So you managed yeah. to beat you managed to beat her on that because before we actually really got going, you're already like I'm not rolling. Yeah, All right. I, I thought it, I thought it deserved a, a proactive statement. So if you recall, your GM was uh, needed to do a little bit of processing with regards to uh, getting a couple of ones dropped on him at the last minute. Um, so I have a few things to uh, a few a few elements of housekeeping. So as you pull up into the area, uh, you know, within range of the ships, you know. Uh, couple dozen kilometers off. Uh, this one is probably salvage only, you know, recover what you can kind of situation. This one may be more, it's certainly more intact. Uh, it's, it certainly is not without its own damage, but depending on how comfortable you are piloting a ship in a spacesuit while sitting in the spacesuit, Maybe okay. Um, really, kind of depends. There's not my circus, not my monkeys. Yeah, definitely, definitely some whole damage stuff. <laughs> and as this you guys, is stepping up proudly. Yeah. <laughs> and as you guys had pulled up, um, Kay was Kay was doing a uh, uh, sort of a system scan or a, 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 a sensor, people around. sensor sweep kind of thing. Um, using study and monster had sort of closed his eyes and opened himself to the possibility of some threat. Um, Margie, Either yours which went well. Yeah. So the, the upshot of the sensor scan, you know, the good news, bad news is you did manage to detect threat. Um, but it was it was threat that was you know, and th this indicates all kinds of further questions that might needs be answered. But the flotsam and jetsam that are kind of like, or I guess detritus really wouldn't be accurate given that it's sort of an earthbound thing. But in any case, the junk floating around around through here isn't all junk, and the sensor sweep activated stuff or it was set to trigger or arm or something like that, given active signal sweeps. And what you get in the area that you are, that the ship is in is, or, you know, if you, if you want that little, that, that diagram of like all of the red dots suddenly lighting up around the ship is the whole area has been mined. Uh, and those mines have activated. That's what this new counter is for, right down here. Space mines do their thing. I don't think we need to really. Further than that? Yeah, I, th I think, I, I really feel like that's, so that timer is up and has, you know, it's a short timer. The timer's and, at three. Yeah, the timer's at three and it only goes to four. So they are definitely armed and the situation is rather fraught in terms of just wiggle room that you have in this area. Um, so that's one complication. Monster, yours is a little bit more, <sighs> how should I put this? Um, it's three. No, it, it's, Monstrous. it's not as, well, it's more internal, if nothing else. You don't immediately get, uh, an answer to this question of like, is there anything out here? Is there any threat? Is there, you know, what's going on? But there's definitely a sense of something. And with that feeling of there being something is a sense of real urgency. Like there's, there's, 
there's real emotion, whether it's memory or some sort of sense impression, really what's the difference? Um, something you don't, th possibly something lying away, but there's definitely something there, but it's going to require that you go deeper in order to get it. So it's either let it go and not know, or push in there deeper and see what you can see and, and try to try to reach for it. And in game terms, what that means is try again, but this in this case, the situation is desperate and potentially then the the consequences are, uh, now see, there's, are more that's dire. That's the kind of role I want. I want desperate. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you think that being surrounded by... <laughs> like a couple hundred square kilometers of space mines isn't desperate uh i don't i cannot help you um this no one, but see it's it's this one know. is ex, this one is explicitly desperate. <laughs> so you know um take helping those that need help is actually a, a strong sense and sentiment in monster the nature of that help may be odd to some people's eyes. Yeah. But, um, but the, you know, yeah. hey, you know, someone's in desperate straits. Sometimes the best thing you can do is like cut their throat and then drink to them afterwards. Wait, wait. S say that again because what I heard cannot be what you said. I so, think it is. It's so, someone's in desperate straits. Sometimes the best thing you do cut their throat and drink to their memory afterwards. I did hear you correctly. That's both comforting. Reavers. Yeah. Reavers. reavers. No, not reavers. Oh, um, no. Maybe that's... someone has been caught by reavers. Yeah. Yeah. That's to take the kill shot from the uh, yeah. the sniper nest across the street before they're eaten. Yeah. Shoot, shoot me in the leg. Shoot me in the leg. Anyway. So, uh, yes, mon mon Monster will feel the need to go deeper. Okay. Um, in that case, so what I'm going to have you do then is it, it's still in the tune roll. Yes. Um, it's uh, the position is desperate. Uh, monster has a, a tune of a whopping one, one if I'm correct. Um, do you want to do anything in addition to that, die. Push yourself, devil's bargain, that sort of thing. I'm sure we can know. come is up. There, is there a devil's bargain on the table? Is there a devil's bargain to be to be had? Let me think. Um, it sounds like devil's bargain territory. So this this these ships were if. Uh, if these ships were, if you recall, uh, stranded initially because of sort of the whole, uh, it was during the time of the, of the gate going down and a lot of other um, sort of way space hijinks mm -hmm. um, going on. So the, I would, I think the devil's bargain has to do with I think the devil's bargain has to do with um, um, making the other way sensitive creatures in the area aware of your presence ooh. Oh, ooh. I mean it's a guaranteed in this case uh, you are you are in a desperate situation, so there's potentially, you know, you know, we there there's there's potential for going. No, I don't want that, and then rolling a one and getting that anyway. Getting it anyway. Uh, but you know, devil's bargain might just make it worse. But um, it does give you the automatic dice because the way I, the way ener in this case I'm happy with that because the way energies are going to be, you know, sort of stirred up in the area. So. I would rather push myself. <laughs> you would ra well, that's, I mean, I think that's kind of a given. 
I mean, that, I, th I feel at that point well, in time, it's like, that's a good devil's bargain. But what? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a push yourself or devil's bargain. Correct. Bonus correct. Case. Yes. Yes. So I would rather push myself. The ultimate goal for me be, would be, be like. And be stealthy. -ish. Yeah. The ultimate goal for me is like guaranteeing the 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 way beast detect me. Yeah. Because hey, you know, actually I, I do a level on skulk, and that's something that my people do or yeah. can do. The uh, so yeah, my my there's a very happy spot for me where it's like your stress is high enough that you're like I would really rather push myself rather than take that devil's bargain. However, I don't have enough stress. So I will take the devil's bargain, and you're not in that situation right now, so that's totally fine. I am not yet in that situation. I, I, I'm getting. This will help me get closer. Yeah. Um, okay. So push yourself. That takes a couple stress. Uh, uh, you could spend a gambit. I'm. I think there aren't any gambit dice spent yet at this point in time. So you have like a pool of three if you're so inclined. Um, oh oh no, we spent one. Oh, you spent one? I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember if Bill had. Had, had burned one on his... Yes, with our fail. On we, we, we burned burn. one and failed. Oh. No, no, we burned one and failed. Oh, lovely. So it's perfect so, time for injury. monster to redeem gambits for the ship. Okay. So are you going with your... That gives you two dice. Are you going with two? Or are you spending a gambit? At this point, uh, you have two. You have push yourself gives you a dice and you have your regular, you have your regular dice and then you're... I'm going to push myself, and I will spend a gambit. Oh, okay. All right, so that gives you three. Duly noted. Let us see So what happens. I tune, and I'm a desperate. Not sure what that means. And I'm looking for standard, I guess. It's it's the effect. Desperate, desperate local, desperate. desperate. Desperate standard. Yes. Desperate standard. Still standard. And I have now set myself with three bonus dice? Okay, no, two, bonus two, bonus dice. two bonus dice. I thought I got two for the... Uh, you get one for pushing for yourself. The push my, I get two for pushing myself. Is it no. two? You take two stress for pushing yourself. Oh, I take two stress. Oh, well. Two stress, one <sighs> dice. <sighs> Math not monster is strongest thing. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. And we have a roll. We have a oh. <laughs> we'll call that the we'll call it the beggar's crit. Two fours. It's very much like not getting a crit. In fact, it's identical to not getting a crit. Um, all right. But you have two of them. But you have two of them. Uh, <laughs> two. Very definite not crits. We'll 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 work with that. Um, so not a not a failure. Not a failure. Hmm. Let's look on the bright side of life. Do, 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 do. I was refraining from doing that. What's that oh. singing? Um. Always look okay. on the bright side of life. Don't do it. All right. You okay. know, my friends trust you more. Um, <laughs> That's why it's so surprising when, when it turns out they shouldn't. Um, okay, so you're reaching out for this emotional spark this this trace this impression um that you have and all i can say is please dear the minds please don't be the minds please don't be the minds <laughs> <laughs> the minds um so All right. The minds are in distress. Now they want to come and give us a hug. The monster. What's your 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 uh, your planet is your your home your home world. I, I'm 
giant mushrooms? Was that what I was? Am yes. I it's, it's, this? It's, 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 f- fungal growths are the, the, the predominant flora and so, for that matter, fauna. So although you would probably never think of yourself that way, were you kind of a vegetarian? Um, or were there also like yes. meat bearing critters? One of the re- one of the reasons why Monster is so into exotic taste is because he grew up basically eating variations on mushrooms his entire life. Which is, after a while, yeah, that can be a little bit. And it's also, of course, the reason why Monster is a fun guy. Oh, my God. Oh, God, uh, you did not really? go there. Nobody, nobody saw that coming. Somebody, you didn't, I, as you soon as you said people, it, Margie, somebody punched oh, me. Oh, I saw brain. it coming. I just was, was hoping that you would have some modicum of restraint. <sighs> somebody punched me in the brain so I could forget if, that. If you make one more mushroom pot, I'm going to put a cap in your ass. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Don't don't spore him on. Spore oh, me. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, no oh, my God. I'm sorry I ever went down this I'm, line. Of... I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. But there was there was dangerous life on the planet. Is that is that fair or was it it was it dangerous in the sense of D and D's famous actually, gas spores or was it actually like I, there was probably I, there was probably some stuff of that sort. There was no real animal life or anything like that. So most <laughs> thank you, James. Uh, so, I mean, that's also one reason why there's so much sort of intertribal rivalry amongst so uh, amongst the people because that's where the real that's where the real danger was real, real threat was un, yeah. un, until until the uh, until the combines came. So the so, place was the place was dangerous, but it wasn't like you were several rungs down on the food chain or anything like that. Right. We 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 were we were the apex predators. Not a killer planet. Not a not a killer planet. You know, you slip and fall, you know, multiple stories and hit the ground. That that could be deadly. But you eat the wrong you eat the wrong mushroom, that can be deadly. Um, but it's not like there are there weren't you know ravening you know fung, fungus wolves or things like that. The, the mushrooms weren't coming after you. Yes, the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushroom people were not coming after us either. What's that one in was it Old Man's War? Where where the planet was just like full and just grew overnight. Anyways. Yeah, that was all the end for. I digress. Uh, I mean, useful useful information. Um. So. Okay. Oh, that'll work. I can deal with that. Something kind of like that, maybe. I'm Mycotopia. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot less colorful. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, kind of. I'm kind of going on this. Um. Yeah. I'm, I'm picturing something like this, but but like yeah, like you say, a lot less colorful, a lot more um black forest um kind of risk and a lot you know a lot less um oh here we go this might work a little bit better maybe um the reason i ask is because you are finding your 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 your... oh i didn't work at all never mind i don't know why that image did what it did doesn't matter all right um so my thought here is is really actually if you can imagine oh, yeah if you can imagine yourself sort of the ant sized to scale here uh in this last image sort of this ant sized uh monster in in an environment like this um you know, gigantic mushroom, that kind of thing. Um, right. And a, but a very dark, like very lot, a lot of extra, you know, plant, plant garbage and and that sort of thing creeping through that. Your 
you find yourself in that environment again and the situation is that you are looking for some vulnerable injured member of the tribe your 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 tribe you are without immediate backup and there's at least several dozen uh, enemy warriors around. That's why the person that you're looking for is hiding and why you are creeping through this undergrowth so carefully and, and you can't just call out and say, come to me, that, that sort of thing. Right. And you're... And there's a sense in the back of your mind that you're you're aware of the unreality. Of, that's, a, that's not the right word, but you're you're aware of the abruptness of this, and the fact that it's got to be some sort of projection. How does monster, or maybe his people, or anything like that? sort of view way visions projections i don't want to say hallucinations because it's not exactly that but but manifestations it's a good word yeah because it's not you know this is um, it's, it's, is it another aspect of nature or is it witchcraft or is it seen as sort of a vision quest thing or Usually it's seen as kind of scary ghost story things in the darkness will get you kind of a thing. And it's unclear how much of that is just because it's sort of the opposite of the very physical nature of, of, of Monster and his people and how much of it is some sort of racial memory of however it is they got there from wherever they came from and and what they were moving away from so it's it's seen as a certainly a, a uh, i don't want to say a real thing but it, it's not it's oh it, it is acknowledged as real i mean yeah, it's, it's definitely, not a, it's as, definitely you know, a real oh, thing but but superstitious stuff at the same time um, to be voided when 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 possible kind of thing one wants to fight on the in the ground on the ground or on branches or uh, you know on your feet if one must and finds oneself submerged in water but still needing to fight, one fights. This is like that, but an order of magnitude further along the scale of to be avoided if at all possible, but if one must, one makes do. Yes. And, okay. So you are in your home forest and looking for your that that one which must be protected with with enemies about when hunting what the what what do you do in that kind of a i mean what's what's the next how do you um, how do how do you proceed or said, well hey there's there there is a reason why everybody laughs but you know monster actually has uh a ticket skull because you know, there is a certain amount of, you know, we don't just go charging into things most of the time. We, we can, we can hide and lay in wait mm. and, and move quietly. Um, there's always a certain amount of, well, there's the thing that we need to do to protect the interests of our tribe and the, oh, look, that guy's back is turned. Maybe I can like hit him. Maybe I can like, you know, count coup on him and and take him down it doesn't directly advance the mission but you know it's also you could you could make the argument and hey a challenge yeah so it's not so so is it am i interpreting that it's you know in in these kind of situations let's eliminate some threats before we worry about finding the safety of sure if if if, if threats come up it's not gonna be oh i can't i don't dare risk that because the number one mission is to take care of the 
the hurt and injured person. Um, and honestly, finding you know, the threats is easier because there's more of them and they're moving. Exactly. And whoever's so, hiding is so, not. So to a degree, you know, if you can move through the threats, that takes care of both missions. Mm. All right. Let's then ponder the fact that you probably want to. So your, your idea is to, you know, sniff something out here, some enemy out and sneak up on them and see if you can't brain them. Or sure. Take I mean, if if I mean, if I run across the person, or who's you just want to skulk along. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave them. If I run across the person in distress, I'm not going to leave them behind, because that's that's the number one mission. Sure. But if between point A and point B, I run into some some guy that I can brain with a rock. All right. Hey, that's so their lookout. What I'll throw out here then is this: the, uh, um, as you try to slip through the undergrowth and look for your, you know, whoever it is that this person that you're supposed to which you you realize i think in the back of your mind you know when i'm saying you know this person that you're trying to the fact that you don't know who that is that it's it's that's very hazy is you're not unaware of that it's part of the construct of this whatever's happened um mm -hmm. thing so you're not but it's you know, it's a back of the mind thing. It's a dream thought. It's it's the um, it's that little hint of logic of you know when you're in the midst of a dream and you're like you know, it's got to be a dream, because, you know, obviously Kaylee's not driving a Studebaker, but it doesn't matter. Especially, it's nice to know, but at this point in time in the dream, Kaylee is driving a Studebaker, and one simply has to deal with that. You know kind of kind of logic so it's like you know you don't even know who this is that you're supposed to be finding. yes yes but at the same time there is this person i need to find so i'm just going to deal with that so there's a bit of a dream there's a bit of dream logic to the whole thing um so slipping through i'm going to ask you for a skulk uh it's risky and the risk is is that if it doesn't go particularly well you will avoid most attention but you will end up uh coming upon Somebody who simply cannot be avoided must be dealt with. That we will then. She who must be obeyed. Yeah, well, not so much obeyed as possibly assaulted. <laughs> she who must be assaulted. That doesn't sound new. It's not Casey. No, that that's yeah. That right. really doesn't sound good, Joyce. Okay, I, I have. To, I, I'm sorry. I have to digress half a second. We were up at the Arvada Center this weekend seeing. Uh, Sin Street, which is a, a, a modern recreation of a restoration comedy. Um, and one of the questions was, so, so what changed between the original 17th century version of the, this uh, restoration comedy and, and the modern incarnation? Um, yeah, main change, uh, less comedic rape. Uh -huh. <laughs> which was the thing in restoration comedy. And yeah. I can see the places in the play where they changed from that. Yeah. Uh, so... Anyway. Honestly, that kind of, I mean, my wife's always, <laughs> my wife was is one of those uh, theater goers, a big fan of uh, fan of the opera. I have never, ever liked it. It was a huge thing when I was in college. Everybody, everybody was a big, it was, you know, fan of the opera and Les Mis were both big things. I never liked the music. Thanks, I, never saw, I never saw the show. It was not my thing. Just not my thing. Just never liked it. But it was. I like his earlier works a lot better. It was, it was on a, uh, it was on a. Uh, recent rebuilt like sort of a, a restaged tour i think it was about a year and a half ago that was coming through denver and it was part of our season tickets thing so of course we went and um <laughs> music wise it still doesn't thrill me i fell asleep during the second song um which went on in my defense 478 minutes um <laughs> so long and so boring anyway um but at the end we're kind of like wrapping up and sitting there and done its thing. And I turned to my wife, I said, well, what did you think having revisited it now after, you know, 15 years? She goes, I don't remember it being so rapey. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's not just restaurant. I mean, you don't have to go. It, you so don't have to go back far that back. far to find that kind of trope of, yeah. of, of, you know, yeah, no, it's, I say there, so, there, there are things. That, and unquestioned, yeah. like just un, uninterrogated, assumptions anyway 
carrying on. You know, a, a, lo- a lot of 80s, even 90s rom-coms you yep. know, have elements of that in them. Ghostbusters. Anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry, something stuck in my throat. Um, Skulk, one dice. I'm going to have you roll this, and we're going to shift on to somebody else here. But you have one dice. Uh, you can push yourself. You can go for Devil's Bargain. You can... Uh, you can do stuff, or you can just roll Skulk. Um, there is one Gambit dice left. We haven't yet got yeah, of arriving I, I, on scene. I know, I know. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw on any additional resources. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take it as it, take it as it lies. Um, so what's the position? Risky. Uh, it is, it is risky. And I will note uh, also, did, Dave, did you mark a... I just did. I just did mark two stress. Nope, nope. I, that's not what nope. I meant. Uh, you okay. had a desperate action of a tune. Oh, I, I, I made a note of that I was going to add that yeah. at the very end. You can end. immediately do that. You you mark a tick and... Oh, I just did it. You can mark a tick and resolve because every time you roll a desperate action, mark XP and that action's yes. attribute. Uh, so there okay. you go. Then resolve I will scratch this. that off. You get a tick. Okay. All right, so Skulk, one dice. Are you doing anything for that, uh, any additional, or are you just going to go with the one? That's a 50-50 chance of success, Dave. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go for the one. It served you perfectly fine when you did the original attune, so I don't see how anything could possibly go wrong here. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> um, you know, now, now's the time to, to create that average. Uh, so risky standard, no bonus dice, yep. and survey says... A five. A five. Nice. Okay, so there is um, there there is obviously, as I said, the, the risk there being you know coming a, 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 upon someone uh, that you, that must be dealt with. Um, five is pretty high though, so we're going to put you in a pretty good situation as you come upon uh, this person that must be dealt with, which we will get back to. Um, anyway, where are you on the ship while all this is happening? Like, where were you? doing this are you are you sitting in the galley right now staring off into the nothing or what does this look actually what does it look like when you sort of reach in like a tune like this when you reach into the way or, or i whatnot? thought we were on our way into the ship i think we were in the 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 yeah. umbilical between the two ships no 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 um you guys had pulled up uh, i don't think so Somebody... we, had, we had talked about the umbilical stuff and then we backtracked to yeah to, to just like okay. approaching. yeah so you guys are uh, sort of um, in the space in the area there. Now he might certainly so be sitting in the. I, I I can't imagine that everybody isn't like crowded up in the, uh, in the in the bridge, kind of watching what we're approaching here. Yeah, my only other kind thought was like maybe yeah. you're in the airlock area, but just kind of staring off into no, nothing because you were anticipating the boarding thing, but maybe or maybe staring out the air uh, the airlock like porthole. Not- I, I kind of like the everybody kind of you know up front watching these things as we're approaching, and you know you know monster ha- monster has his hand on on the back of one of the uh, chairs, but isn't really looking. I'm kind of was, and, and and you know as you know a, as he's going through this series of visions and stuff, um, we'll just have his his hand kind of you know. You know, mangling the, uh, <laughs> the 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 light steel of the uh, the, the back of the well, seat behind nice. uh, Drifter, and but with uh, the stare on a face, it, like your position in the in the cockpit and staring off in the space, uh, weirdly reminiscent of Leia at the end of Empire Strikes Back when Luke is like Leia, and you're like you know, except for the fact sure. where you're very much not Carrie Fisher in this situation, and also as you say, gouging, you know. Yeah. Years of life expectancy off the back of the chair. Um, Drifter, you have yep. suddenly discovered uh, 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 the the presence of many unfriendly neighbors immediately in your neighborhood has, has come to your attention. What do you do? I assume you're talking about the mines. Yes, I am. I am. Okay. There's a whole bunch um, of mines which have like popped up on your activity and. She did the sensor sweep. It's not her sensor sweep necessarily it brings them up. They become active, so they're showing up as like called heat signatures, energy signatures, energy signatures, whatever you want to. Um, Major Will Robbins. How how long do we think this has all been here? Do we know that? Not long. In fact, what you're guessing. I, I mean, the mind specifically. In the case mind specifically. Uh, ooh, that is a good question. I was going to say. 
that it was a huh i was going to say that it was a sort of a, a half-assed defensive measure by by one of the ships so like oh my god this weird crap is happening the only thing we've got is to scatter these you know mines that we would like spew behind us as sort of like chaff and use it against pirates and we'll try it in this case but what if the lanes were mined that is a hell of a good question and i actually don't think i have the answer to it um because i like either one of them equally so the i'm gonna actually tell. i'm gonna well i like the dice tell but i also left drifter tell possibly i mean jeez I'm going to say, unless, unless Drifter, unless you have some, some skin in this game, I don't want to see what this image is that you just put up here. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking of a little bit, was just this idea of, like, you know, scatter this chaff out in the back that also happens to be exploding chaff and, and hope for the best and hopefully it'll keep, you know, whatever... Man, I, I am mostly impressed with how fast you pulled this up. So, you know, these things, you know, everything everything moves in space. So these things, nice. these things, you know, staying adjacent to this thing would kind of indicate it was deployed, but it also might be a kind of a thing where they're sort of attracted to the ship um, up to a point. So they might have just, you know, picked up some, some thing. So I don't see a need to roll for this. Bill, do you have skin in the game? I'm inclined to make them an old leftover, like, thing that these guys stumbled into out of sheer stupid bad luck. Um, unless you, uh, okay, that sounds good. I think that's kind of... I think that's kind of interesting. Mm, no, yeah, uh, except I've contradicted myself there. No, we've connected this to the whole kind of gate thing going up, so I'm going to say that this is actually... Um, yeah, so what we have here is un unarmed, uh, uh, you know, freighter ships. Previously unarmed? <laughs> yeah, well, unarmed freighter ships that have um, probably got, like, sort of, like, uh, uh, some bad cargo cargo containers or something on the outside that have been rigged to just open up and dump these things out. Because they are moving along at the same basic rate as these things. So, because I want it to be, a, yeah, their, their problems arose from... The weirdness in the way and the the gates and stuff like that so this would have been this would have had to have been something to do so re recent and something deployed by these ships probably as a defensive measure clearly it didn't have the intended effect possibly it had a unexpected maybe maybe one of these guys rigs went bad and that's part of the damage that happened to the other ship but clearly they realized they were under attack and and deployed these things as a defensive measure uh with really mixed success um so you this wasn't the thing where like this it was like oh we're gonna mine this and capture anybody who comes after us no you stumbled into like the aftermath of a battlefield you know you stumbled into a minefield after the war has, you know, gone past kind of kind of a situation. Okay. Uh, so if these uh, people were responsible for leaving these mines behind, there might be like a disarm signal or some way to to turn them off on one or more of these ships. Or so, or a recognition signal. Some kind of like don't blow us up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't 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 blow up my ship. Yeah. And it, some some certainly some indication of that uh simply because partly because they had assuming that they were working at one point uh they have gone they had gone dormant and reactivated um so yeah seems very likely seems certainly possible at least some way to put them to sleep um i agree with that what do you want to do with that uh well if it's if there is such a thing then obviously we can get to one of these two ships search for that thing and activate it so that the mines turn off thus letting us get them out of this space more safely. All right. The one that's likely to have any kind of luck with that is going to be the one that's considerably more intact. You can get there, um, but, you know, the space around both it and you is is pretty fraught. So, uh,
I'm not. I, so it, you know, it's it's getting in there. There's some. There's some. Um, well, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you're you're moving in towards the ship. Um, the risk there is that that timer on space mines do their thing, you know, completes, which will be super fun. Okay, so I mean, I I don't have any better plans. So I'll just no. You know, I'll do that. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a it's just a matter of we've seen the we've seen the speedy flying, and now it's time for the tea kettle flying. Steve. Of just a little, little bit of steam burst and floating in very gently, and please don't pay any attention to us and blow up, Mr. Mines, uh, kind of thing. Um, so a situation like this, uh, pretty obviously, helm roll. Uh, unlike monster, people could help if they're so inclined. Uh, there's still gambit dice on the table. Obviously, you could push yourself. I'm busy. I'm not. I don't know. We think before what happens when. We try to help with helm roll. I'm not immediately. I don't have any immediate ideas for a devil's bargain, but uh, if pressed, I will. I will rack my brain for one. So let me know if you're looking for something like that. Um, I think your helm is like a three, so you've got a lot of options for lots of different stuff. What say you? What do you think? There's helm. There's gambit. Push yourself. Get assistance. Uh, okay, sorry, uh, my, my roommate dropped by and I had to take care. Oh of no, first. no problem. So uh, I'm I'm mostly just figuring out like how many dice you're going to be rolling. You've got your helm. Uh, there was a gambit dice. Uh, someone with um, you know there could be a, an assist roll with somebody. Uh, uh, I I want to suggest that. Um, we've got Sun over here helping me look for. Uh, access codes to the computer, or if Sun doesn't have hack or rig, uh, somebody else with the appropriate skills. I thought he did. Um, uh, Sun so definitely there's an assist rig. opportunity there. I have rig. For sure. sure. So okay. I haven't checked. But um, I would probably think that this would be a rig role because um, we, we need to get some of these systems online. We need to uh, you know do a search for uh, for some sort of signal and rig up like a broadcast type of thing. All this feels more like rig than, say, hack. Yeah. Helm doesn't really feel appropriate either. So that's kind of where I would go. The other thing um, that would probably be in the field would be study. I was. I, of which I have none, but I, I also feel like the, the work to get the ship systems online is probably more work than the, than the work to find so it. So, you know? Art, is your. Okay, so I want to make sure that we're, we have a shared understanding here because. I don't have in my head. You're not docked with that ship yet. No, I understand. Okay, like, all right. You said we could get over there. Right, and you don't. You're, you're thinking that's more of a rigging type of thing rather than than the helm thing, just in in terms of what you want to accomplish, uh, getting the thing to do the handshake and all that kind of good stuff, and 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 let you in yeah. without without any more alarms going off. Yeah, that works for me. Sure, absolutely. Okay, so rig is. So, well, go ahead. No, you, you, you go, you do, you do you. I want to hear the okay. right thing. Um, I would like to suggest that um, if if the assist works, then then we can do that. Um, and I am going to push myself as well. The the assist always works. Um, it's a matter of sun spending. Uh, more, more like working for James as, as a player. Oh, I like see. Oh, yeah. like... Works for me. Type. Um. Depending on how far we go with that, certainly, um, I could I could actually see also uh, uh, Armin being able to. It could be a combination of rig and a little bit of hack, you know, layered on top of that. Just in terms of like, okay, we're now connected to the ship. Now let's see if we can get into the systems kind of thing. Can more than one person assist? I think they can. It's just a matter of whether or not people want to spend the. Yeah, it's just well, and it's isn't it the risk to the the person? Um, there's th that's if it's a oh, that's if it's a uh, Mike, help me out with the terminology when when every like one person's leading and everybody does stuff. One where you ended up with all of the nasty uh, bad <laughs> yeah. things from a yeah. setup or a team action. Team action was what I was thinking of. Okay. Um, so that's everybody rolls. And Bill just takes it. So there's 
everybody rolls and then Bill takes stress for anybody who rolls a three or lower. Um, so it's kind of all the dice. Um, it's just a question of where, where you want the stress to land, really, because otherwise... Um, I'm at two points. I'll be happy to eat it. So Yeah, sounds a little bit heavier on stress. I, I like it as a team action. Uh, I like the idea of, you know, you know, flipping something on the horn and says, hey, uh, get, we need to do some handshaking stuff. Can you, you know, uh, uh, get over on the airlock. I need you to do some stuff over there. Um, I'm going to do it stuff from up here. And, you know, Armin's already, or if, if, if you, if Armin dives in on this and does the thing, then there's, there's a little bit of that sort of communication SIG int intelligence type stuff that can be happening here. A little bit of, you know, hacking and stuff like that. If so inclined to kind of throw all that stuff in there too. Um, Armin, what say you? Yeah. 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 Uh, do you have a thing for hacking that's like a weird deal, or is that? Am I thinking of something? That's kind of like. No, a, I do. Uh, but it's just I'm not affected by quality or tier. It wouldn't come up in this situation anyway, so that's yeah. that's fine. Okay, so it's rig. Uh, uh, Drifter has the rig of two. Drifter is pushing himself, or do you not want to uh, push yourself for an extra? You can still if push I can push and get assist, I'll do that. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, so this is a team thing. So uh, 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 drifter rolls, risky standard. Um, the risk obviously being sort of advanced in the clock. There's sort of the most obvious thing, which is obviously some potential downsides there. Um, the two dice plus the bonus for pushing yourself. And then... Sorry, Sun also ro rolls rig, just straight up. Um, yep. And Armin rolls hack. And I'm not honestly adverse, uh, uh, Margie, if, if K is like sort of helping them sort of guide their way in with some passive sensor roll kind of things with study, <laughs> that kind of deal. Um, I, or, I leave it entirely up to the opinion of those receiving my help. If they yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's it, you know, it's that one die you can throw in there and it can be stuff like, you know, the scan I did uh, get did tell me that this one airlock is still intact, things like that. Um, the question is, Bill, how much stress can you take? I can take um, like five more points before I He's in bad shape. And that's after you are two for push. That's, that's after the push, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because each one of us who fail, you get stress. I, I cannot possibly go over then, so yeah. I'm, okay. I would say. Um, all right. I I also want to ask: Is this is is shutting down the mines worth uh, spending our last gambit? Or did Seems that get spent? I missed it. No, I I wouldn't because we still have to get out of here. And, that's very well said. And we'll I'd say. rather have one in my pocket for that. Right. Okay, so there's always a chance that I can generate one. So yeah, um, wow. yeah. Well, you're. So I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll rig at plus one dice for the for the push, and then correct. we'll see what other people. Are. And everybody else rolls the stat in question. Um, so study for K and rig for Margie or rig for sorry rig for Sun and hack. Sorry, what were the parameters? Just uh, risky standard for you. You're you're kind of adding to his thing, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, strictly speaking, we have a rig for. We have a four, two, three, which is a four, three from K, four from Armin, and a and a one from a one from Sun. Oh man, the dice. Oh, are... I marked. I marked two extra stress for the three and the one. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes. Yeah. And you're taking Good. the best dice out of everything we all roll, which is a four. I'm sorry. It's all right. I mean, it's not. It's. It really, <laughs> statistically speaking, it's just not you. Um, I mean, to be perfectly honest, Sun rolled worse than you, so. Yeah, I mean, because you have the the, the full. You're you're adding to the probabilities. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be adding to the probability of a of a six. Um, okay. This is a four. Okay. Mm. 
moving stuff here. Uh, the good news is this clock gets really, really close. Um, uh, Bill, we still need your helm roll. No, he wasn't doing helm. He was doing a rig roll. Like, to me, rig made more sense in yeah. terms of what... Cause what he's, oh. Right. So the okay. helm isn't actually happening. He was doing it as a rig roll uh, with three days. It's yeah, that, just right. the standard rig roll. Rig... Remind me again why I married you. I... Happy anniversary. Oh, oh, never mind. Say, happy... Never mind. I, I... There, you, there was a vote on who to marry, but their vote was rigged, so... <laughs> wow. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> And during the ceremony, you you didn't use the Bible, you used the rig beta. Is that? <laughs> that was really obscure. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, but but we did end up with my my sister in law singing in German, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. So. Moving up to the ship, relatively simple. You're, you were uh, kind of close enough, and the mine's in such a position that um, you're not actually having to do any particularly difficult, uh, you know, sort of maneuvering around them to get uh, to the ship. Docking, you know, coming up alongside, relatively smooth. Um, the you don't honestly know because I don't feel like pointing fingers, what went wrong in the process? Because you dock the, 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 uh, the uh, airlock, Not naming me. the airlock, Stop. the airlock handshake went, Armin's like, okay, I'm in, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the disconnect codes. Um, and You know the ship's on kind of the, the ship's on like a weird tumble. It's not like it's it's pivoting on this point right here, like right in the midst of the ship. But the pivot point is kind of a the 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 axis around which it's rotating is more like um, that way. So it's it's got a weird like I don't want to yeah it's not it's not good but it's kind of gets the point across I think um, it's just it's not square obviously so having docked with the thing you're kind of in a weird I don't know flip roll thing front to back at a weird like 35 degree angle kind of a deal yeah um, yeah you got a weird yaw to it um, so uh, so as I said it's not really clear what goes wrong or what activates the minds to like swarm. And it isn't even all of them. Uh, what is very clear is that they're dumb. Uh, good news. Um, because they pretty much go to whatever the point of warning is and just kind of like go that direction until they hit something and blow up. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is, is they um, basically come to where you guys are, but at the point that they're coming to where you guys are, the ship that you're docked with is in the way. So you're not, uh, you know, the ship doesn't get mined, which is good, but the ship that you're attached to is basically, um, like if you're docked here, all along this, the far side of the ship down here on the other side is like, <laughs> and now you're feeling that all the way through um, uh, the ship, um, obviously. So there's still a lot, you know, warning lights going off, you know, uh, uh, the docking seal isn't, you know, is, isn't necessarily torn or anything like that, but it's in, um, you know, you know, reattach, reseal, you know, reacquire, you know, reacquire um, some klaxons going off in the sense of, you know, the, the docking has not gone well or the docking has been compromised uh, kind of thing. Uh, no major You're supposed to be making that noise? A lot more junk in, lot more junk in space now 
Uh, but again, kind of on the far side of the thing, chances of the ship actually being salvageable at this point just got a lot lower. Um, you are able to uh, send some kind of, you know, abort, abort, abort thing. So at the end of the explosions, there's a long series of hammering sounds uh through that ship and thus into your ship the, the kinetic hammering like dung, 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 because it's the sound of those mines that had lurt that had like lunged in your direction um hitting after they had been disarmed so they kind of go dead and then sort of drift and, and impact the ship still they're more like rocks at that yeah point. exactly which isn't necessarily great news but at least they're not exploding which is most of wax yeah but, you know hey yeah um and most of that has stopped by the time your side of the ship drifts around although the impacts are kind of cratering all the way along the side of the you know as the ship is sort of pivoting and stuff like that but um everything that was going to get that way has sort of gotten that way uh you know, I will it, say that we're actually spot. happy now that that these were newer mines as opposed to older mines because the older mines would have just blown up when they ran into something. Yeah. Well, that yeah, that would you know th with them being armed possibly also, but yeah, these things are actually some you know some version of smart. So you're uh, uh, docked with a ship that is probably now considerably less space worthy. <laughs> Um, the most solid thing on the ship is the airlock in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> Weird kind of huge gaping thing on the side. I was watching a couple, uh, I think it might have been last time I was watching it. It's taking me a while to get through it, but I've been watching that series on Netflix, um, Space Love and Robots. Space Death and Robots? No, Death, Death Love and Robots. Love, some, Death and Robots. Love, Death and Robots. There you go. Um, some good bits. Some very enjoyable bits. One of them, though, is somebody like working, like sort of a contractor that's working on like a, a satellite around earth and uh gets hit by a sheared off screw moving at orbital speeds um from which a series of hijinks um then proceed uh which you can probably imagine uh because space does not cooperate and is constantly trying to kill you so that's kind of fun um, interesting bit. I do not necessarily, I mean, if you want to watch it, by all means, watch it. Margie, don't watch it. Um, <laughs> there are, there are very, very, very few episodes in, in, in that series that you would make it through with anything other than cursing my name for recommending it. Although I will recommend Suits, which is about farmers defending their farms from invading xenomorphs with mecha and that's pretty good and i think probably would pass muster for whatever else it, um, it really depends upon sort of how they're playing it i've decided because like it is very i didn't i mean the, there there's there's sort of like it's 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 really sort of the gratuitous violence Oh, there's but I lots decided of that. that. No, there's lots that, of it. That, that on the other hand, I was perfectly fine watching um, like one with the um, uh, uh, the Royale. The they don't have a uh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Uh, I could watch Pulp Fiction yeah. because. The, they're not reacting to the violence in the scene, if that makes sense. Yeah, I there was a couple. Let me put it this way: there's a, you know me, you know stuff. How, I mean, there was a couple points so far as I'm going through the series where I was like, oh, oh god, like, <laughs> and one where I just about shoved my laptop off my lap to like move the screen further back from me. Um, <laughs> I don't want these goodies. Yeah, there was. I mean, they're all they're all well. They're mo they're mostly fine stories. Uh, many of them quite good, uh, but it's definitely a cyberpunk kind of a thing. There's a lot of dark um, in there and stuff. But you know, the, the the one with the mechs. I will say this: the thing I love the most about the farmers defending their farms with the mechs is that 
the first, the main character that you see when he crawls up into his mech, you're not immediately given to understand that it's a mech. I mean, you, you can tell because of the read into the whole thing and, and, and the little intro text that's there to describe the, the episode or whatever, you, you know, there's going to be a mech. The, the, the pre, the, the, the promo shot is a guy in a mech, you know, it's going to be, but you could easily think as he's going out to the machine shed that he's about to crawl into a combine or something. And I have seen many, many, many men built like this guy crawl into combines. And let me tell you, so has whoever made that series, that, that episode, because it looked, right? it looked exactly like a farmer crawling into a big piece of farm equipment with a cup of coffee in his hand. And it was exactly and and if farmers had mechs they would treat them exactly the same way as these guys did um so there was a lot of there's a lot of ringing true there anyway i was thinking more of the of the space debris thing and that that, that sense there of this is a great big ship and some a lot bigger things seeing it so yeah the damage on the other side is like that was a lot of bad sounds on the other side the only good thing about it is that it wasn't actually hitting you guys so, so, so I'll, I'll be honest, my whole goal there was to avoid space mines hitting a ship and damaging it. And we got something which is not a bad outcome, and yet the space mines hit it and damaged it. So I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I, if that was the goal of the, not hitting that, I thought it was trying to avoid it from hitting your ship. Like, avoid it hitting anything, really, but like, well, you know, I don't, I don't feel like our ship was particularly in danger from the space mines. That wasn't really how this was pitched. But that's fine. I mean, okay, that's, okay. that's how the. If well, um, okay, I can. I, I, you know, this is actually an excellent uh, point for a bit of uh, some mechanics. Uh, there's a thing uh, you can resist the results of that roll. There's a resist roll. It's very very straightforward. You roll resist with a uh, appropriate stat. It's a stat, right, Mike? Or is it the skill? It's. it's, it's Say again. You broke up, or I lost you. It's with like inside prowess or resolve. All right, so you roll it with the stat. So the resist roll is pretty straightforward. Um, you say, I do not want that to happen that way. I want to downgrade it or kind of make it not happen the way it happened. Um, and you roll the thing, and you whatever you roll, you subtract from six, and that's how much stress you take. Um, I mean, rather than mechanically, like, like I, I'm yeah. fine moving forward. If, if I got, well, I just was hoping for for something different. That's all. Okay. And I'm I'm hoping for that feedback to to get incorporated. No, yeah, I'm. Okay, so th this is this is good because it, it helps me kind of um, trying to break down my thinking. So tell me if I'm stuck because it's just late Monday night and I'm not uh, using my head very well. The risk from the role. Uh, you know, being a mixed success was the space mine clock closes. Like, oh, well, that, I mean, that was really the stake. I don't know that that was necessary. Like, like if we got a bad outcome, yeah, I would see that as a risk. But like, that felt like the worst outcome. But I feel that there's other stuff that could have been at stake. For example, let's say um, that the only way to to disable the mines is broadcast a signal, but this ship doesn't have a working broadcaster. Ours does, so we route this signal back to our ship. Now some security program on this derelict is running loose on our ship, and maybe we got to deal with that. Like that's an example of sure, 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 sure. Something that I might have sprung for. And for. as I said, this is this is me um, thinking probably too linearly because it's um, late, um, or my brain thinks it's late. Um, okay. No, that's all good. We're, no, no. we're just gonna go ahead with what we have. Okay. So. All right. That that I just want, at least want to ex explain my thinking. I'm like, okay, well, the clock finished, so the the, the mines need to go off. But this, um, just so you know, though, results like that, you could you you know, teaching opportunity, whatever. Me reminding myself, it's like I I don't love that result. I would like to downgrade that. And we could go, you know, stress roll to okay, okay, the mines still hit the ship, but they're not armed because the arm happened first. So there's going to be a lot of like. You know, it's going to look like a stop sign that got shot with a shotgun, but it's, they're all, you know, the other side of the ship is intact, you know, okay. that uh, kind of a thing. No, no, I, I, you know, I got that part. That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, um, we're not going that way, but um, 
you know, who knows? Got to get in there and find out uh, what you can actually get out of the thing. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Can I voice a small concern here? No, by all means, voice that concern. Oh, oh, I was, uh, I first heard no, I was like, oh, okay, I won't. No, and no, then... by, no, by all, no, by all means, or yes, by all means, voice the concern. Uh, okay. Um. So. The risk with the roll was the clock advances. That was what I was the clock doing. advances. Mm. But we got a four, not a th a three and lower. Right. So is it should have been. I thought so, the clock advancing was something that could happen on a four or five. Am I doing it wrong? Well, if I'm doing well, it wrong, the, let me know. Yeah, because on a four or five, you do it. But there's a consequence. You suffer harm, a complication occurs, you have reduced your fact, okay. or you end up in a desperate situation. So, like, the okay, I, my idea would be... No, no, no. You're, you're, no, you're right. You're right. Because I, 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 I got things I got things tangled up here because the goal, I, you know, I lost, I lost track of what we were... My goal was, like, get docked with the ship and get into the ship systems, and that wasn't properly expressed. It was get docked with the ship and get the mines off the map so unless you fail the mines aren't going to go off that's accurate i lost track of one of the clauses in there um that's on me um so we have to do a little bit of a right con um and that's okay uh Okay. All right. All right. All right. So the goal was there. Get and I think that that's that's one of the niggly bits with this particular system, is it's it feels like the role should resolve. So it should be a yes or a no, but it's not. It's There's... a yes, no, or yes, but. Well, yeah. no, and I don't have a problem with the yes, but we used yes, but all the way through. Uh, uh, it just well, feels any... like the. Any power by the, the apocalypse. Feel stuff, like they should be more resolved, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't well, know why. I think what it is is I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not parsing the results well, and and that's not tonight. That's just, I'm not parsing the results well. I, uh, just as a, a thought, to yeah. us, I think one of the things that that would help all of us mm. is to remember to kind of state the consequences or the effect before we roll the dice. Right, and I. Part yes. of that negotiation of I want to boom this up or down based on what the results I'm going to get. Right. Yeah, you know, with with the, the leveraging. Right, and that is absolutely accurate, one hundred percent true. And I think the reason that I'm I, the problem is I keep approaching it like it's powered by the apocalypse, and it really isn't. And uh, you know, the fiction leads into pbta the dice roll and then you kind of figure out like what makes the most sense based on what roll what's rolled and there's a lot more of that stuff needs to be front loaded in this system than in pbta at least pbta as i end up running it most of the time and uh i don't know uh i think i don't know that there's anything to parse beyond that except i'm not front loading enough stuff all right so goal there was have that mind thing not happen, you did not fail, therefore that can't happen. Mike, well stated, that kind of summed up uh, the thing that Bill had actually already said that I somehow managed to not understand the first time. That's on me also. <laughs> well, no, Bill's like, I didn't want that to happen. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, but the thing, and then Mike's like, yeah, but that was actually the goal of the thing. Oh yeah, right, shit. Um, okay, so, so bottom line, what results? Bottom line, docked, yes. Mine's not exploding maybe not safe well i mean they could impact the ship and do some minor damage uh, but not exploding because they didn't get within sufficient proximity of us because yeah. the other ship got in the way uh so a little battering but nothing that's going to keep the the, the ship from being salvaged Mostly. I mean, I mean, if you yeah. if you wanted a consequence, you could say that, yeah, we we have them disarmed, but not permanently disarmed. Well, yeah. In they, other words, there may be something we need to do with them before we leave. Um, another alternative yes. would be Please. that 
the mines hit the ship, but because safety measures in right. the mines, they won't explode when they hit the ship. But now they have an erratic course around the <laughs> ship that will be very <laughs> difficult to leave in. So it'll be very desperate for us to leave. Okay. I am liking that situation best. Um, so I think that that was sort of where I was going. Yeah, also. no, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I think I, say, it, I think it, it fits with what I like. I'm saying I'm saying the the whole thing um, kind of together. So uh, what we have then, uh, if I can do a little bit more retcon. Uh, so the docking happens. That's the thing, you know, the the mines turn and move and you know you've got uh, uh k there like um the mines are the mines are coming this way the mines are armed and they're coming this way and they're accelerating uh armin i don't want to rush you but you really need to hurry which is exactly the opposite of the thing and he's like i'm working on it trying to find all right i think i've got it okay i've got the broadcast codes and the broadcast array is missing. We need to, okay, let me pull it back here. I need to copy local file broadcast here, you know, and that goes out and they all kind of go dead. And to a certain extent, <laughs> no, we're not going to have Eve physics. All of Eve uh, online, all the ships are actually, space is actually water because as soon as you stop uh, firing engines, you, you, you lose momentum and stop moving. So everything's basically in some kind of goo. Um, so they, they, they basically go dead and start a tumble and you hear that the drumming impact stuff of them, you know, smacking off the other side of the hole, but they were mostly working with relative velocity and a couple of seconds of acceleration. So you don't have the, uh, potential damage of micro meteors hitting the thing at, you know, you know, uh, uh, orbital velocity kind of kind of situation so there's a lot of bang 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 and you think the first couple are going to be explosions and stuff that are going to wreck the thing it's like no no no, they're dead they're just hitting the ship it's like you know it'll it'll stop here in a second and there is the funny bit where it goes on for like five or six more like seconds and then silence and then a few more and some shots of the people popcorn. in the cockpit it's like yeah. the popcorn popping, yeah. Yeah. Popcorn. Yeah. So it's, it's always like those three when... last kernels and just when somebody's about it... to open their mouth and say something a couple more hit like bang it's like, uh. it, it just... it's like when all of the hot sauce bottles were tumbling down <laughs> at, <my work. laughs> at you and they just <laughs> get... and there's a final <laughs> Six in the morning. Lovely, I love that. Okay, so and, and the the end result there is is getting out of here. Um, the situation for getting out of here is a desperate situation for getting out of here because now what you have, um, is they may not be armed, but they're still wild orbitals, and you know it, it's it, it's a it's a uh, um minefield of a different sort a little bit more prosaic minefield or rather a star wars like asteroid field as opposed to the way asteroid fields actually work i thought you meant the minefield of modern romantic relationships so uh, <laughs> not no that was masks not this game that was yeah <laughs> it's always it's always masks it's always masks all the time um okay so I think that I think that gets us where where we were we're hoping to be. Uh, Armin, you are in the system, which is still responding. Uh, and seems to be basically intact. Uh, cool. As far as I that want goes. myself, I want to manifest. You want you want to manifest? Roll tape. Um, okay. So yeah, we're gonna have you. I'm not gonna have you do a study roll for that just yet. Uh, you won't need to make a study roll for that. It's very easy to pull that kind of stuff up. Um, I am going to cut back over to Monster here for a second though, and see what it's what what uh, whether or not he's humming "Weem Away" under his breath. Um, In the jungle, of my oh my god! I shouldn't have said it. I don't know why I mentioned songs. I just don't know why I mentioned songs. Um, I think okay. by now you would know better. All right. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, all right. So you are 
as I said, you know, sort of creeping through and coming up on, it's, it's sort of like a low hillock in amongst all of the undergrowth and heavy, you know, stinking fungal rot and that sort of thing, uh, that, which is just, you know, the smell of the place. Uh, not a smell you've especially missed. Um, and I joyfully miss it every day. <laughs> yes, I really, I am enjoying missing it. Um, and you hear first, um, oh, what would be like an animal-like noise that your, your tribe would have used as sort of a signal? The bird thing? Something something relatively subtle. Um, Some sort of weird woodpecker tap? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the fact that there's really no life control makes that a little bit more problematic. I, it would probably be another kind of more natural, you know, the sound of this kind of, you know, branch or fungal shelf snapping or creaking in the wind kind of a so you, kind you, of a thing. Yeah, fine tune and rub them together a certain way to sim, sim, yeah. simulate the sound. Sure. So you actually get that first um, from up the hill. Um, and you're kind of headed that way going, okay, I have a, I have, you know, that's, and it, you, first time you're like, well, maybe that's just, and you hear it again, there's a certain pattern to it. You're like, okay, that's definitely where I need to be going. As you're headed that way, um, you see movement up ahead of you that is one of the enemy warriors also creeping up the hill. They have also determined that's not a pattern, you know, a natural pattern and are creeping up that way, but their intent is, is so focused on creeping up without drawing attention to themselves so they can, you know, so they can get the drop on them that they are at this point unaware of you. Ah, it's always great when hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> as long as you are not the hunter that becomes the hunted. Yes. That is less great. That it's can be great. entertaining. So, uh, what do you do? Um, well, I mean, the, 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 the two fundamental options are one, try to get ahead of this person to intercept them to defend whoever they're going after. Sure. Assuming this is the, the person I'm trying to rescue. The other is to pursue the, per, you know, pursue the hunter and follow on them like step, a drop bear. You know, step, step, you know, step in either at the last moment or if I can get the drop on them before that. But, but certainly, uh, you know, focus on them and their activity. I think that's what monster would do. Okay. All right. So this is a, I think pretty straightforward, probably just a, a scrap roll. I think, unless you want it to be skulk. Well, is it, am I sneaking up on them or am I attacking them? You were sneaking up on them. That's what puts you in the situation where they're not really. But then, then if I, if I have sneaked up on them, then I guess attack them, which would be a skulk roll, a scrap roll. Scrap roll. Yeah. Yeah, you, the sneaking has already kind of occur, occurred. So definitely got, thing is scrap rolls. Uh, you know what I would rather roll. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got scrap. Um, you also have a lot of stress. I do um, have stress. You you can push yourself, but as I said, you you've got a little bit of stress. I'm gonna offer the devil's bargain of the situation being what it is. Uh, you being unaware of the fact that there are some other. Uh, Fellow, so, fellow warriors nearby that you will uh, sort of unavoidably draw their attention. Um, that's still a risk. So the risk here um, being that, you know, regardless, you know, the, the risk being, uh, you know, the off rolls. Um, hmm. Oh, God. Because the whole purpose of this thing is to take this guy out without anybody really noticing. So unless things go really sideways. So what do I want the risk to be? This is the thing I'm having trouble parsing, guys. Right? Because it feels like a good consequence for like that four or five mixed success roll of like, okay, you get the guy, but people hear you. 
Um, but yeah. maybe, oh. but maybe the goal of maybe the goal of do it without anybody noticing means that it has to be a skull roll in the first place. Well, uh, allow me to allow me to come at this from a different angle. Then sure, please. Is yes. the risk then for monster to jump this guy and take them out without them fighting back? Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. And then if on a failure, that may just mean harm. Yeah. Where does alerting others come into it then? I guess unless I do it as a devil's bargain. That could be, yeah, That's that could the be the fail. That's the fail fail. Well, the fail would be, yeah. That that's when things get uh, you get harm and harm and and the con and the situation and, becomes worse. Yes, harm and the situation becomes worse because then you got more. That 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 works for me. Um, you know, can you do it without the without the counter attack kind of a thing? Uh, Devil's bargain. Um, the hunted becomes the hunter becomes the hunted. You know, kind of situation. The guys are already alerted to that, so the situation becoming worse is going to end up being some other thing. Um, so you already know you're going to have other people happening. That's if I take the devil's bargain. That's to, if you take the devil's to... bargain. Right. Um, I'm going to skip the devil's bargain, mm. uh, but I will use Wrecking Crew. Okay. Which gives me plus one die when I strike in melee. Very good. Uh, um, so that gets you up to the three right and there. Yeah, I'm going to be... I'm sorry? That gets you up to the three right there, of course. Three, yep. Three dice to roll. Um, and... I will not be selfish and spend a gambit, um, mm. although that would have an additional effect for Wrecking Crew. I mean, you you can push yourself and take no. too stress, but you know. three days Ooh, is pretty good. No, yeah. that's 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 pretty... getting me to like one stress left, which uh, definitely puts I you into a. It's not. I mean, situation being what it is, uh, the potential for trauma in this situation, uh, because of the weirdly supernatural nature of this brawl, is certainly there. Um, but in any case, uh, yeah, three dice sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that with, so two plus wrecking crew. So three dice, three dice, risky I... standard in this case. Yes. So scrap. And we'll flip oh, over wait a second. Uh, Risky, standard, bonus. One bonus six. die. Yes. And a three, six. Three, six. Very nice. And it's the six from Wrecking Crew that puts you over the top. You have to kind of enjoy yes. That. Kind of kind of have to enjoy that. Very nice. Um. Okay. So. Tell us what this looks like. Uh. You you um taking this guy out because he's going to be out. Um, I, I see him kind of creeping ahead of me, kind of prone through, you know, through this undergrowth, kind of going up this hillock, and I will take, you know, three, four, five steps through the air and basically land on him with a fist to the back. Three, four, five steps through the air? Three or five steps to launch myself. Oh, I see. I see. Through the air and land, leading with my fist to the back of his head. I had this like image of you kind of like doing kind of a walking in the air, like Air Jordan kind of <laughs> donkey, <laughs> Air Jordan donkey punch kind Ooh. of scenario. He's like, yeah, 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 smack. Um, but yeah, it, and and the nice thing about taking somebody out in a situation like this is is all the soft loam. You know, the impact against the ground is usually quite squishy. Um, uh, you've run into situations since then where moving silently is not nearly so easy uh, as, as it is this kind of situation. Well, most of the rest of me lands on top of Warrior, um, but he, he gets pressed down into the soft line, certainly, substantially. Right, right. Um... Right, so you kind of land on this guy, and really, when he, you're done landing on him, you're at ground. Your feet are at ground level, and he is not. He's below that, um, and you can proceed pretty quickly at kind of like a crouching scuttle, um, 
up the hill uh, and can see uh, uh, there's like a, a not, not exactly a cave exactly, but um, a, a covered area here. It would, it would certainly provide um, um, cover in, in the rain and, the, and that sort of thing. A little bit of an, I guess a cave is probably the best way to describe it. Um, and, you know, you see this sort of friendly wave in, like, quick, 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 get in here kind of thing. Um, and it, and again, dream logic, you get in there and it's not one of your people. It's a rather harried looking and, and um, bloodied and, and, and scuffed looking human uh, cut on the brow, hair kind of awry um, situation. And it kind of like hoarsely whispers like, are you with the ship? Are you with the ship? Are you with the ship? Ah, uh, yes, I'm with ship. Not so loud, not so loud. Okay. Can I... Can we, are you here for salvage? Uh, 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 looting? I mean, I need... You know, the line's so fuzzy between, you know. I just... Okay. Uh, I t anything's got to be better than this. Um, and he kind of turns and he reaches and there's like a little like he, the back of the cave is like a, a con, like a console table like a like a like a I don't know how to explain it you, the, the kind of console where like Uhura would sit on Star Trek right again dream logic um, and he kind of he sits back there and he, he goes you know okay just hang on and he reaches back and as you turn you never notice this thing in the cave until he turned to it um and he kind of like leans over really close and it's like all right hail the ship i've been uh uh hiding out can you tell me which airlock you're at so i can make my way there without alerting any of the other things on the ship one of your crew members is contacting me. I just don't know where I need to go. And you guys, uh, uh, I guess I'm going to say Armin specifically are getting this. Like you're like going through the manifest thing and you hear, uh, you know, kind of a crackle on the, you know, the link comms kind of thing. Uh, I guess it would kind of come through the intercoms because you guys are using the same, you know, the systems are kind of linked up at this point in time, but you get that, um, kind of a whispered like can you please just tell me which airlock you're at so i can try to get there and if Mon you could... Mon Mon monster oh, is echoing cool. what he's saying as he says it <laughs> that's awesome i love that i love that so much um yeah so it, is is monster saying it with like his accent or is he saying it like the guy like straight up like uh, the guy He's he's quoting the guy, but kind of with the monster accent. So, monster accent, but not monster grammar. With without the uh, and without really any delay, it's not like he's repeating it. A, a, you know, he, he's really almost saying it in unison. But he's you're definitely yeah. hearing uh, uh, both of them together. Um, what do you guys do? Oh, I'm sorry. So, so, so to, to us, what does monster so, look so like? So monster was sitting in the cockpit and had been kind of like staring off. Hadn't really done. Be besides damaging the, the chair. Yeah. Besides damaging the ch chair, but you guys all had a lot on your mind. And Armin is kind of like, hello manifest. And right about, you know, a, a few seconds later, um, monster kind of shifts slightly in his seat. Um, you know, might maybe mutters under his breath, take that or something like that. And a few seconds later says exactly what's coming out of the speakers, but in, you know, what's coming out of the speakers, completely different voice also whispering and monster. I don't know. Has a whisper mode. Um, probably doesn't, um, but sort of repeating and is, you know, 
if you're looking at him, his eyes are still kind of like got the thousand yard, not really looking at anything kind of stare uh, in unison. Um, so a little creepy, a little weird, but... Well, the gun's out of the holster now. <laughs> <laughs> like, and... like, not like raised or anything, but just like, you know, by the seat and just like, what did you say? Uh, and monsters now monster you can kind of right about as you're like in the midst of i don't know if it, maybe i'm the only one who does it anybody ever woken themselves up talking in their sleep yes okay um i don't usually get very far like half a word is usually enough to wake me up because i don't sleep particularly deeply anyway but you find yourself like you know you were saying what this guy was saying and about halfway through it you're you you come back out of this connection still kind of saying the words, but you immediately lose the thread of like what was going to be the next thing, obviously, but you still hear it continuing on, which is obviously a bit confusing. Um, of those who are looking at monster wondering WTF, like what's your expression? Like Armin, what is the look on your face as, as monster kind of comes back out of this and refocuses on what's actually in the cockpit? Um, Flat, nonplussed, just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Guns in the hand, but like, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's still going on. Does anyone read me? Is anyone, okay, now your, your, your friend is gone, but I am still here, and if anybody could tell me how to get out of here, that would be fantastic. Because there's creatures all on board. Um, a creature is all aboard, and someone's. What were Needing you rescue. Right. Um. Kay, what was the expression on your face as all this was happening? As as sort of monster focuses and sees the people like looking at him. Okay. Um. Bay Kay. I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, certainly you would probably get a sort of ripple of way stuff happening. Um, at least a little sense of it. A little, little ripple of, you know, predictable weirdness. Um, surprise, dismay. I had no idea Monster had it in him. Yeah, kind of, kind of dismay on there and and just sort of stating the obvious, it's like, oh, he 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 must be connected with, you know, the ship through the way. State the obvious. The ship, somebody. Educated, because yes. you, you know. As you know, John. Sure, did you make a friend? <laughs> Penny, did you bring a ho friend home from the desert? I mean, it would appear monster that i mean obviously the guy on the ship is the is like your your friend you're not sure what specifically in your i say dream uh the enemy tribe represents but probably not good things but definitely real things neither are you entirely sure what it means to have like mugged one and ground him into the dirt but um you could make a you could hazard a few guesses you've always got pretty good guesses when it comes to you know violence um <laughs> so our monster still aboard and someone on ship still needing help whether or not the mon i mean it certainly seems the monsters are hostile or at least hostile to the guy on board um possibly just hostile in general um, the monsters that are not our monster correct the things whatever they happen to be i mean probably way creatures of some kind since they seem to be active in in a, at a on a way frequency so to speak so um the bigger the bigger question being like um like actually literally bigger question is what to do with the ship or what's what what to do so there's a dude on board there's 
potentially hostiles on board. Uh, they have not at this point been alerted other than the fact that they were kind of in search and hunt mode anyway. Monster Monster did that much. He didn't actually like raise the alert level on them or anything like that. Monster is very sneaky. And uh Armin, given what you know and so uh manifest. What is Hmm. Hmm. I have a thought. So my, th well, the question that I just raised in my head is because I hadn't considered manifest on this thing. Um, as to a large bulk freight that would still really want to be transported through like dark shipping lanes by the folks doing it. Oh, you want me to give you a illicit cargo? I mean, I had a thought as to what the illicit cargo might be, but it's not great. I mean, it, it, no, that's not true. It's it's fine. I, I'm I'm totally okay with it, but it's not very nice. And it's also probably didn't fare very well with this situation. You, uh, are, you were you were wanting live animals. I know it. Uh, not anim not animals. Not animals. Um, <laughs> I I mean, I, I was I was thinking something along along the lines that Mike is obviously going. But I could I, yeah. I, I could see lots of other things. I mean there, there there could be some other stuff too. But I was thinking like what's bulky and black market people? Ah. So what's bulky and uh well I'll give you like two. Okay. The first one you're probably gonna be like, no. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. First one. Unlicensed ships. Sure, I would say ship parts probably. This thing isn't that big. I mean, it looks big on the thing, but to scale to you guys, it's it's big, but it's not like like weapons parts. Well, you know, we keep messing around with. Um, we keep running adjacent to like stargates and jump drives and things like that. Unlicensed jump. Drives. Unlicensed jump drives would be really something um you guys keep like going hey look we found a thing that's incredible super valuable and incredibly hard to move um so okay i'm 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 with you on that you that was one what was the other what was the other thought that you had oh um uh, i wasn't expecting you to say yes to that i was thinking i was gonna have time to to well, look through this it, book and come up with oh another. you you had some i mean i'm i'm fine with i i don't think ships because it's not that big it's not like a it's not like one of the 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 freighters from from eve that you can actually like um oh, and i think one of the questions like is build build a village in the cargo bay i think i figured out the square like you could actually put a village around what, what does the government have a monopoly on well, I mean, we kind of nailed it. Tax. We we certainly nailed it a lot with the. I mean, unlicensed or unregistered jump drives without like the signature being like you know with the serial numbers basically filed off and stuff like that would be uh, hugely valuable. Um, people, but that that begs the question of like where the market is for something like that in in the Procyon sector, and I, I'm not sure that there is a market for that that would account for the sheer number well, they, they also probably you know control um you know military goods they may control um so, canto and they control you know in the in the interest resistant of, seeds you know whatever in the interest of tightness I'm, 
with the various just, factions. Go, go ahead, Bill. Yeah. I'm just going to ask real quick. How do you build all these weird space stations out in the middle of nowhere? You build, <laughs> you, you jump out there and you put, you put a gate together. You yeah. build a station. And they tear it out. Yeah. I, hmm. I mean, in the interest of tightness, the only thing I can really see this being is something that relates in some way to the, to the, um, the, the star, star Smith guild. So you either got jump ships, uh, jump engines, you know, some, some, and they, they don't build gates. Um, component artifacts. Yeah. Component stuff. And I, I don't want to go with artifacts necessarily. Cause that gets a little what bit What about crazy. like the robots? Aren't, aren't they really tightly controlled? What if, what if they were, were, uh, they're, they're tightly monitored. Um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go with, I'm, I think I'm going to go with the, like the, the jump thing, the jump engines uh, and stuff like that. Unless Mike, okay. yes. Oh, I did have another one since you started talking about like, or unless well, since Bill brought up uh, space stations. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, all these space stations so far have had like some sort of err device uh, doing the gravity. Yeah. Except for the one. Except for the one that didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. What if this is a couple of those? Oh, so somebody could build a space station without anybody knowing about it. I like that. Um, I... non er technology. Well, no, um, um, non er technology is just spinning the things up. This would be er technology. So this wouldn't be necessarily how you would want to build a uh, uh, space station identical to the one that you guys uh, encountered earlier, but certainly a way to, I mean, it's the, it would be the, certainly one of the key heart elements of, of putting a, sta a station up like off the grid, um, unregistered, but yeah, a big chunk of that, you know, the, the idea of like, some sort of unregistered, which begs the question, who the hell is flying this thing or, or who was flying it? Um, okay. So yeah, we're going to say, because those would probably not be small. I like that, you know, have a couple of those, but yeah. So some, so like a, a, a station scale, grav generator a couple of them we'll say two does that sound fair that wasn't on our pick list no it was definitely not on the pick list <laughs> you were sent out here to get you were sent out here to get the ships they received word that ships were damaged uh and they wanted uh it's off the ship they, not part right, right off the ship, ship. If, if we couldn't get the whole ship there was there was a list of yeah. that they wanted now that was not on the pick list but I mean, let's do you, put. Do you let, think they'd like that? How how should I put this? My kids do not ask Santa for a pony, but they would really like a pony. It just doesn't go on the list because they don't want to blow their role asking for something that they can't have. Would they be happy with station-sized grab generators? God, yes. But why would anybody ask for something like that when they're being sent out after wrecked ships? Because that's well, a, it's ridiculous, and b, don't waste your time asking for a pony. You're not going to get a pony. Actually, I was just kind of pointing it out as either they were not aware of the content of the ship. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, no, didn't want to tip that hand. No. Yeah. That does ask the question of who was aware of the content, and therefore, who 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 else might be. Uh, Reconstructing specifically what Extremely happened. Extremely interested in this. Yeah. Reconstructing what actually happened out here is craziness. Um, so the question, the, the, the issue here is you can probably, I'm going to say, There's a couple of things here. Uh, you could try to move the ship. Again, getting out of here, desperate situation. That has not improved. A lot of it, erratic stuff going on. And try to get the whole ship out of here with the thing in the condition that it's in with both of them. Or you can try to shift one of them into your hold and just GTFO. Um, leaving you much more nimble and also not attached to a ship that may or may not have way creatures crawling all over it. 
through it. Um, so picky. When have we ever been scared off by way creatures? I mean, the time one of them almost. You know, the time one of them made us every time. They every get time. all contents. <laughs> you ask for a ship, we give you ship and the give bonus. Ah, uh, payment in advance. <laughs> Here is ship with surprise inside. You will not believe what we found. I mean, there is Sweet, no... Sweet, creamy filling. <laughs> there is... There is... You guys are connected to the system. The system is operable. Assuming that the ship is basically functional, uh, you could theoretically pilot it from here, from the bridge. But, I mean, even from here... Uh, I, you know, that's a possibility. It is a thing. I, I did have some, some crazy ideas of ways to, to clear the minefield. Bill, do you want to drive a big ship from a smaller ship? Sure. <laughs> yeah, twist my arm. Uh, I mean... I yeah. What what were, were well okay, um that so clearing out the minefield what? is is a, is clearing out the minefield really boils down to a question of uh, uh trying to move the situation from desperate to um less desperate you know risky whatever mm -hmm. um but you know you guys you the know question of the person on board I, I think that's where we 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 lost track of things in there wasn't well that he's where we he, are going right he's now wh he's whispering for for help but you guys you know excuse uh, me uh person on ship there's a couple of, rescue. so there's funny do is, we really need I, to help anybody i mean honestly if you bring the ship someplace where people are going to salvage it we are in effect rescuing him as part of all of that <laughs> I mean, can I just say for the record that I love the fact that Armin for a little bit was freaked out for a hot second because like the whispering started happening on Mike while, while you know, uh, monsters start speaking and he pulls out the gun, but then he spots the manifest and all of that is right back the fuck out the window. And he's like, no, no, no. hang on for Gun's a second, guys. Out. Oh, yeah. I'm just prioritizing here. <laughs> I'm picturing like a double, triple take back to the manifest thing going, okay, I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to get to the, hold on a minute. <laughs> Just, are, am I reading this right? I re yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, there is there is some question there. The guy is still kind of like, hello, is anybody there? Hello, oh god, oh god, did I hallucinate? All sure, are you talking to? <laughs> uh, so, You're still in your dream, right? Uh, no, monster. Uh, oh. kind of, he got ejected. Uh, halfway through the whole, you know, the whole kind of wake yourself up when you're for talking to sleep kind of a thing. Um, so he's not at this point linked up to the guy or whatever was happening over there. Um, so the guy is just, he's only coming on over comms at this point. Monsters in the cockpit. He is, I guess, theoretically met the guy um, at some level of that. So that guy's there. Um, Monsters on board ship. Guy still needs rescuing. Yeah, he can do that at Space Dock. And there's a possibility the way creatures will leave when you guys leave the way the 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 way line. Some of them don't like to leave the way line and they might just exit the ship. Shh, maybe. Sure. That could happen. I mean, the situation you're in right now is kind of fraught because eventually now, the other people will show up because there was word that was out about this location and you guys managed to dodge a lot of that, get off station. So there is a bit of a ticking clock there, although it's a distance clock, distant clock because Drifter got here so god-awful fast. Um, you've got a long, long stretch of time there. Uh, the area you're in right now is not super friendly um just in terms of like ship you know the, there's a lot of flying debris that kind of thing um getting away from that's good um 
you were paid to get the ship. Guy's on the ship. Guy's theoretically safe. Fish. Well, my my take on all of this as Armin is okay. We can turn control of the ship over to our pilot. We can then take ship back into, you know, law-abiding citizen territory, where our salvage rights will protect us from anybody else who wants the ship. True. As, as opposed to out here, where our salvage rights just mean that they will shoot us so we can't claim anything. <laughs> you, yeah, all it does is, is raise you up on the priority list of, of things to get shot at. Oh, so from my point of view, I would like to get back to a civilized society as soon as possible. Moving the ship out of here does simplify all other things that you guys want to do with the ship up to and including rescuing the guy. I will say that. I might. Son, yes. I might argue slightly that we should at least make sure that he is all right. And in a place where us moving won't cause him to meet an untimely end. Uh, if that's talking as like a somebody... doctor, I feel like I should advocate that's slightly for his health. <laughs> it's a good a, idea. That's, that's a, a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that is that Sun then like uh, responding to him on comms or Monster doing that after Sun says something to that effect or? somebody else it costs nothing to ask you know whatever Wh who's who's most likely to like i mean it's a matter of pushing a button and talking to the guy you're basically on an intercom with him at this point i think monster should hello oh it's you uh you're you are there you're you're but you're there not here okay um so uh help what what's are you what's going in, on? Are you in are you in safe place right I'm, now? I'm in a uh, I'm in a secondary. I don't know what would you call? It, I guess a secondary bridge. Um. It, I'm in a secondary bridge, in uh. Like sort of the center of the ship, uh. You know, in the event that the main bridge is destroyed, that 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 sort of thing. Um, it's, I, it was the most secure place I could think of to go. I was navigating from here, and uh, when everything started to happen, I just locked everything down. So, uh, I guess, yes, yeah, safe. I guess I'm I'm strapped in. All the doors are locked down and everything. So, yes, I would like so to I not be here. That would make me even happier. So, unlock ship systems, and we bring you to civilized place where you can be rescued from monsters. Now, there's a there's a long there's a a fairly pregnant pause here. The guy's like, um, how civilized? Armin, he is absolutely thinking about the cargo. Because oh, yeah. uh, too civilized I, is going to get you in all kinds of trouble. Yeah, There's I some am. Uh, complications maybe with docking at a very civilized thing. How civilized are we? I mean, I don't want to tell you your business or anything, but there's some potential complications I can't really get into right now. So, uh, um. Armin can get to the comms, right? Oh yeah, you I mean you establish the comms? You're, you're. Okay. Yeah. So, Armin's just gonna pipe in. It's like, um, unidentified voice. Could you identify yourself? Uh. Uh yeah, my my uh, I'm the navigator. For uh, the ship. Uh, I handle um, the sort of more esoteric navigation that involves uh undocumented routes and that sort of dirt, thing he rails it, he, he he rails it off a little bit more more patly than that i mean you're out here at one of the in one of these mm -hmm. lanes so it's not like it's having anything i i uh i you know i have a way with these kind of uh i he actually delivers it as a bit of a pun i have a way with these kind of uh 
space lanes, so to speak. Mm. So, um, comms off for a second. It's just like, you know, flip off. So, it's really hard to salvage a ship when the crew is still there. I'm going to let y'all process that because that's. So clearly need to go bring person off of ship to us. Then ship can be salvaged. I mean, yeah, as long as he doesn't argue ownership or anything like that. Now that he's in position to over. And he, I, good. You, I know he you guys are you are you owner of this ship? Oh, oh, <laughs> I am definitely there's a, again pregnant pause. I am definitely not an owner of this ship. In fact, in fact, click depending on where you uh, uh, dock. Um, I'm going to actually assume there's some places that we would dock where I would actually be very likely to claim that I was kidnapped by whoever was actually piloting the ship and have no knowledge whatsoever as to what the contents of the ship are. Um, Please so, stand by. <laughs> click. <laughs> yeah, but half of the sentence that he gets before you shut him down is um, if the choice is me getting rescued and you getting the ship, I choose click. <laughs> um, okay. So he's very pliable with the whole rescue. He thing. really wants to I am on board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His his so, role for profit is please don't let me die at this point. He he he's on board with getting off. Yeah. All right. Let him not be a get buried in six months. Uh Margie, I think you're waking up. So Oh my God, I was on a conference call with a guy a couple of days ago and he just, just I'm setting this as a low bar now, Margie, to know that your breathing does not um, come anywhere near this. But I <laughs> swear to God, whatever was, I don't know what this guy was doing, but if I had to do a rough guess, he was tumbling loose inside of an Altoids can while trying to eat pretzels. <laughs> Inside of a like a half full Altoids can, and that is why you're an author. While trying to shake pretzels out of a bag into the mic, <laughs> oh, every single time he said anything, it was unbelievable. Anyway, just go back. So by all means, you know, just let, letting you know that it could always be worse. Mike, what were you gonna say? Sorry, had to share that. Oh, yeah, no, uh, uh. Uh, at this point, you know, guy doesn't, yeah, guy just wants to be rescued, so. Yes. Point in our favor. Yeah. Um, do we want to leave him there or not? Like, do we want to leave him on secondary bridge or do we want to have him on the ship? I mean, I'm still worried about way creature angler, yeah. angler fish at this point, but. Going and getting him, as opposed to retrieving him. I mean, you guys do whatever you want to do. Everything gets simpler if you're not where you are right now. Literally everything probably gets simpler, like if you're not where you are right now. So can I make a recommendation? Sure. I think it's actually a good thing for him to be in the the secondary control in case we need him to do something on the ship side. And that could be our argument for leaving him there. Oh, yeah. Now, maybe, the way. It's, maybe it's better, though, if control for ship is from our ship. It, well, oh, no. no. We're doing that anyway. Okay, yeah. what if? It's just a matter of um, going, is there some way I can assist this, this piloting role with a sway? Yes. Yes, there is. You can get that guy to help you. Um, yeah, uh -huh. that, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping to do. <laughs> also telling him, We're saying, gonna get... you know, hey... We want to get you and your ship out here as fast as possible. So you strap in and, and be ready we'll to help. Out of here. And if we tell you to flip a switch, you need to flip that switch. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're getting pretty close to late. So uh, I'm 
We've got to pilot this this cow on ice out of here. Rigged situation and all. Mm -hmm. Um. And nothing is, is still another ship. Yeah, but the other ship is kind of in pieces. I mean. Could we salvage it? Yes. Is it worth it now when we have what we came for? Well, you have. I don't think so. You honestly, I mean, you have some of what you came for and something that you really weren't expecting that's potentially. I mean, they're, they're still going to strip the ship down for parts, but this this is an extra added bonus that is means they're not going to miss the chunks of other ship that are. If in like six months there's another uh, space station on the ma uh, on the map that is friendly to us, I count that as a bonus. <laughs> Especially if it's owned by the Wreckers, because they really like you guys. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was the point. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, by comparison to everybody else. Um, so, all right. I mean, I mean, if we wanted to be completely scummy about it. We could also turn this guy in to the 51st Legion and try to get some of that heat off of our back. But I mean, <laughs> I'll leave that Not one that up to mean. You. I mean, I am, but you okay. said, Yeah, he is. I think that's been established. Yeah, but, we uh, already know that. Yeah. <laughs> you missed out last last time, Margie. We were doing, uh, well, you missed out, but um, somehow over the course of play, while we were doing uh, uh, For the Queen, Mike ended up playing sort of a... a, a, a uh, an ether ship fantasy, fantasy version of Armin, <laughs> just like I am, I am, I am floating to the top of whatever tossed seas I end up in, like like a little bit of flotsam or chip of wood or, well, something less less savory. Uh, he was he was floating to the top every time. All right, so. Um, I think so there's a, there's think something okay like, so go ahead so do we want to do you want to hear my my idea for sort of decreasing the risk or do we just wait for that at some point well else? um presumably bill is making a helm roll to take us out of here i'm planning on making a set of rolls with sway in order to like get this guy to help us to yeah so if still you still making up, if you want to Sorry. do other stuff right. in order to also do that, that seems like a good plan. There is a um, I, I, I'm gonna actually um, because I've my um, my sore neck has turned into a headache. Um, kind of it's crept up the back of my head. Um, I don't know what lobe that is. Doesn't matter. It's a lobe of pain right now. So I'm I'm gonna actually um go to that I, I would I'm going to beg that we um open with that next time but Margie what you're talking about in the context of the game is like a setup role um where you make a, a you or somebody but certainly the suggestion uh you do a thing and the offshoot of that is we either make the result better so let's say it starts out as de desperate standard and the setup role can move the desperate to risky, or it could move the standard to great. So it could be desperate great or whatever that kind of thing. So that setup role, simplifying the all the crap that's going on outside, like with the with the mines and everything like that, is that's exactly that that makes perfect sense. Like in mechanical, I, with me not even knowing what it is that you're planning, like there's actually a mechanic just for that. I'd like to mention it now so I don't oh, forget sure. next week. No, let me. Yeah, by all means, let, <laughs> let me. Let me. And also lets me process it. So what, what's what's the what's the thought there? My my question is, can we can we somehow use um, one of the chunks from the the damage ship as as sort of the equivalent of you know a, a, a cow catcher, snow plow, mine sweep far enough ahead of us that if, if you know, we do come across anything, we, we're, we're at least pushing them out of the way from um, us initially. There's a couple of options there. Um, 
we can talk about it next week. Pushing I just it. Wanted to get it out there so I didn't forget. Yeah, I'm just thinking of various. <laughs> I'm just thinking of various skills for it. A couple different options there. Um, maybe not a cow cut because pushing it's tricky. Um, because you got to then disconnect from the ship and do all kinds of other stuff and things like that. However, um. Reactivating the mines and saying the enemy is this thing I'm painting with the comms laser, and then painting the old the, the more damaged wreck. Uh, has a certain appeal because that I mean that that clears out the situation as they all kind of lurch away to the other ship. Um, also possibly explode, which is you know good too. Um, but there, there's certainly an option there of like taking the biggest chunk of detritus that you don't really care about and saying, go over that way. Or, you know, <laughs> um, there's a, a bit of Steven Universe episode where one, the leader of the team um, picks up a stick and says to one of the other members of the team that they do not want there right now, says, you know, Amethyst, we need a moment alone. And she throws the stick like towards the horizon line and the and the uh, other puppy dogish rather uh, character goes tearing off after the after the stick is sort of a distraction, you know, that kind of a thing. So it's really kind of, you know, you know, throwing the stick as a distraction to get all the puppies to go after it. Um, I like the idea, certainly in some way, shape or form, using the Hulk of the bu more busted ass ship as a in some way, shape, or form, maybe we can get the mines swept up and, using that thing. And as an added bonus, mm -hmm. those assholes coming after us have less of salvage. There's also that. Yes. You know, I am a vindictive little shit sometimes. <laughs> I like. I do like uh, spiting people on our way out. <laughs> so definitely on brand. There is a, that is a very that's a very good point. So I like all that. So basic idea. Let's clear out some of the mines. By doing that thing, comms roll, uh, some, something along the lines of comms roll. It's not comms, but whatever. Um, you know, paint with the comms laser. Go go hit that red dot. You know, it's like the red dot and, uh, um, you know, with the cat and getting him to chase it across the carpet. Um, and and then we'll get a, we'll try to get this, this ridiculous ship uh, up out of here and hauled off. Um, I think that's about all I've got right now. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm trying to hold really still, not to not to have the 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 headache get anywhere. So I'm just going to I don't know. I pulled a muscle or something. It's not it's not great. Anyway, um, starting uh, Armin is alphabetically in order here. So uh, run down the XP real quick for me, if you would please, or start with the ship. I guess ship. Yeah. Start with the ship. Oh yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, excuse successful transport now. No. Contend with challenges above our current station? Maybe. Mm. Not that we had to roll against. Not that you had to roll against. Uh, these All guys right. are actually kind of on on level for you guys. So. Um, okay. Bolster reputation? Not really. Not yet. There is no one really to bolster with. Uh, express goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature? Definitely. I say yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. So we determined that we're vindictive. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. We we may, may not all be murderous, but we are vindictive. Yes. <laughs> all right. So Armin. Start a cop. And and uh, everybody else, feel free to just uh, look at the look at the sheets real quick and and see what you ended up grabbing. If you yep. have questions, just raise them. Uh, belief jars or heritage? Yeah. Yeah. And I think we already checked off the one person who got a desperate role. So that's already been done. Uh, son, I apologize. You, you ran under the radar again for me, and I apologize I for that. I helped a thing. Yes. I, I deliberately tried to pull you in so that you'd, you'd have more some. Yeah. Like, you seem to be yeah. more interested in doing reg type stuff. So yeah. I, I was hoping for an opening for that. Yeah. I'm glad that we were, you well, were able to do given it. that, you know, people aren't getting shot at. Also, uh, <laughs> take, take an XP. Yeah, uh, you know, 
try to do that. Um, take an XP at least for establishing character or background kind of thing, because speaking up saying, no, we're going to talk to the guy and make sure he's safe before we do all of this. I think is good. I'm not going to just yep. let him die. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> why I spoke up. I was like, ooh. XP. Hello, XP. I'd like to do that. Uh, Monster, you should definitely have some uh, stuff happening there as well. I got some, I, in addition to the one we already did, um, a, a dress a tough challenge with force. Pump. Pump. Sucker punch to the back of the head. Hey, um, Express police drives heritage or background, I think definitely. A lot of background stuff there. Um, mm -hmm. I think two. Take two there, because the beliefs, certainly, I need to go rescue the thing, plus we have to learn about your planet, which, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm jiggy with that. Yeah. Um, and honestly, uh, uh, yeah. Oh God, I had a thought about Bill, but I don't remember what it was. And I'm right back on. It's right back on again. I'm sorry. I'm kind of useless right now. Um, tally up the 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 stuff you need to tally up, guys. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not gonna go back and look at the screen right now because I kind of want my eyes closed. So. That's that. Are we good for next week? I'm good. Uh, yeah. I think I, we're we're clear on the on the on the schedule. All that kind of yep. good stuff. Okay. Um. Sorry. I am going to uh, go. Go. go lie down. Go. Take a shower. I did. We yeah, sir. Oh, I did want to say one thing after mm -hmm. you stopped recording before you took oh, off. Hang on. Let me. Hang on. I know that's around here somewhere. Stop. Oh, that's not the mouse.